I'm going to spend some time talking to you guys about the orchard. we got a lot of fruit trees in here. And I'll show you the ones that are producing. If I can get this fence open. Looks like we have a little rust on it. Here we go. And right here, I believe that this is either a nectarine or an apricot tree. And I want to see if we have fruit. Now, there's a little baby one right there. Um, this hasn't been producing a lot of fruit this year, but it's still young yet, and I expect to see quite a few more. Not many on that one. We've got our plum over here is doing really, really well. We've already sampled a couple of plums. It looks like this one's ready to be picked right here. Look at that. Juicy, wonderful plump plums. There's a couple more that are ready to go. These dark red, when they get that red, they're just about ready to pick. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Look how nice that is. Just a beautiful plum, and this is a young tree. I think we just planted this one, I want to say, last year. We're just getting an absolute ton of fruit from it. We're going to go over here, and this is a pear tree. Um, this one was struck by disease, so we really had to trim it back, and I'll do a video on that because we've got a few more branches I need to, to take back uh, that I can tell have been infected. Um, but, oh, you know, we did have to trim it back a lot, but we still got a lot of pears growing, so you can just see bunches and bunches right here. These pears really starting to form. Now it's like a fire blight that infects the tree and it turns the, the leaves dark. So you can see these dark leaves up here. That's what happens to it. You get sort of that dark leaf and you can tell leaf and you can tell it's been infected. We cut this tree probably back by about half. But we're trying to save it, and so far I, I think it's gonna work. The pears look like well, they're really gonna come out this year. Um, so I'm really super happy about that. Now I'm just gonna show you the trees for now that are bearing a lot of fruit. Not all of our trees are bearing fruit. It kind of tends to alternate year over year as they grow, how much produce the most fruit. I believe this is an apple tree. And I want to say a green apple tree, and you can see bunches of apples on it. Granny Smith type apples. Tons and tons. This is going to be a really big producer for us this year. Now these apples won't get full, full size like you see in the grocery store because this tree is young yet. I want to say this one's probably about three years old at max, between two and three years old. But we're going to get some good size apples out of it. Now these green apples are really great for making pies because they have that tart flavor. You add some sugar to it, boil it down in a saucepan. Put it in a pie shell. Put some cinnamon sugar on top and bake that bad boy in the oven. And you can see here, this tree has been here. This is our oldest tree now because to my right we had a tree that was uh, an apricot tree and it died. And... We planted this one sort of at the end of the other one's life, right next to it. It was our first of our own trees that we planted. The apricot had been here when we moved. And it, it struggled for a few years. I'll, I'll let you know that. It, I didn't know if this guy was going to make it, but we just kept trimming it back and pruning it. And you can see it's starting to produce apples. It's got them all over the place. The squirrels are going to start knocking these guys off pretty soon. So I'm going to start picking these. And we're going to start eating them. Uh, we've got another apple tree over there. It's not producing. Some of our trees are not producing just quite yet, but get, they're going to get there. This is a project I wanted to show you guys. I guess I'll do a before and after video. This is going to be our berry zone. So we've got some brick out here. We're going to concrete in place. We're going to put some poles and some chicken wire to keep out the, the critters. And we're going to build a door on it as well. And we're going to put all of our berries in here. You can see we've already got the irrigation done, these little white pipes sticking up. We can control irrigation to the plants. Here we have two elderberry plants. I'll explain in a later video what elderberry is good for. It's good for upper respiratory, but we'll go in detail on that later. But these I just got this year, and they're doing really, really well. This one's really healthy. It was literally just a stick when I got it. And it's blossomed into this really nice, really nice elderberry. And then we've got another elderberry right here. So really excited about this. We're not sure how big we're going to make it, but I think we may make it this big a little bit bigger i think we're only going to do single layer of brick all the way around i'm not sure we need to double layer it unless we have enough just to save on some of the concrete pour it takes a lot of time to mix up that much concrete but yeah we're going to get this in place we'll show you show you guys when this is done it'll be later on in the summer i, I don't anticipate starting this one probably for another couple of weeks i've got some chores to do on the shed over here this coming weekend um so we'll probably do it the weekend following but we'll get this bad boy built and uh, we're going to get some free blackberries plants, some fig trees, I think, as well, we might put in here as well, from my father-in-law, who's, who's been growing a lot of vegetables and fruits for a long time, and he's getting a little bit older, and 
doesn't have as much time to take care of it. So we're going to take over. He's got just a bunch of blackberries. I think some blueberries as well. We'll put that in with the elderberries. We may try to grow some strawberries. We've got a raspberry plant sitting over there in the garden that we need to, to bring over here. It's potted. We're going to bring it over here and it's going to be great. We're going to have more berries than we know what to do with, but that's next time. In any case, I wanted to show you guys the orchard. Now we do have lots of apricot trees. Oh, this one is producing some fruit. You can see it's got a few apricots here. Now apricots are really good health-wise. They've got a lot of antioxidants. They're good for anti-cancer uh, and they're tasty. And I love apricots. So I think we have like four apricot trees. I kind of went crazy on those. I think we have like four apricot, four apple, uh, two pear, I want to say two plum. I've got two pistachio trees I'll show you. Those, it takes three or four years to get pistachios off of those. So that one right in front of us as I'm walking towards is the pistachio. And then you plant them in pairs. So this one right over here is a pistachio as well. This is second year these guys grow and there were sticks when I bought them too. So they're doing really well. We won't get the nuts off of those for a few years yet. But um, yeah, we should have a really kicking orchard going this year. Lots of fruits and veggies. We make some apple pies. Going to give away some apricot. Oh, I don't know this year if we'll get the elderberries, but by next year for sure we should get some. Yeah, so garden's doing well. Update video on the garden. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time.